Welcome to Courtside with USTA Eastern, an inside look at USTA programs throughout New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Coming up on today's episode, an in-depth look at junior team tennis, where kids of all ages and abilities get the opportunity to compete on teams, improve their games, and make new friends. Then we'll check out USDA Adult Leagues, which is attracting players all across the section looking to stay fit, spend time with friends, and enjoy the sport of a lifetime. And we'll check out the section's annual College Showcase Day, where high school students get a chance to impress college tennis coaches and learn about the wide range of playing opportunities after graduation. It's all coming up on Courtside with USTA Eastern. everyone and welcome to Courtside with USTA Eastern. I'm Harry Chickma here alongside Katrina Adams on the grounds of the Billie Jean King USTA National Tennis Center, the home of the US Open. What a great section we have here. Eastern section, the birthplace of tennis, many people say, really the heart of it all. And I will tell you, Katrina, we have so much going on in the Eastern section. Junior team tennis is such a fun time for so many kids. I got to go up to Albany and watch them competing for a spot in the Nationals. Tell me about junior team tennis. Uh, Junior team tennis is so much fun. It's competitive, but it's fun. It allows these kids to really play side-by-side, three boys, three girls on the same team. They're playing singles, doubles, and mixed doubles. They're going out and playing their hearts out collectively as a team and they really have something to strive for because it's so competitive they're playing in six regions here in the section to try to get to sectionals and then try to play nationals and that's for the winter league in the summer league it's just really the regions trying to get to the sections but these kids are so excited they've got their team uniforms and they're out there and they're cheering each other on wow it's amazing Once again, it was so much fun in Albany, and you see co-ed competition, there's coaching involved, the parents love it, and it's just a great way to keep the kids, you know, off the streets in a way. That's what I was talking about with the parents. It keeps the kids learning in school, happy, making friendships, all different ages, definitely a lot of fun. And once again, we went down to Albany to go check out the action. Here's how it was. Excitement was at a premium in Schenectady as Central Park served host to the section's annual Junior Team Tennis Championship. The tournament brought together hundreds of players ages 6 to 18 from throughout the USTA Eastern section with hopes of guiding their teams to a victory and a ticket to the Nationals in Surprise, Arizona. You really cannot go wrong with Junior Team Tennis. There's absolutely no way to go wrong. So if you're interested in playing, if you're a young player, you're interested in playing, you're just a beginner, we have something for you. If you're pretty advanced, we still have something for you. If you're a parent looking for something for your kids to do, healthy activity, fitness, you know, thinking on the court, learning new skills, meeting new friends, Junior Team Tennis is it. Junior Team Tennis serves host to over 7,000 children from the Eastern section each year. The competition not only features a co-ed format with girls and boys singles, doubles, and mixed doubles all counting towards the final team results, but it also inspires young players to build friendships while working together as a team, both on and off the courts. I think it's fun because when you're able to rely on someone else, you know, you uh, play together as a team and... uh... What could be better than team and tennis combined? I like to be around my friends and the social part of it and the team. It's a good experience. We have all types of children and to have them mingle socially and on team is just absolutely invaluable. I like it because you're a team and you get to have fun and it's just a good thing to do. I think it's a great opportunity for kids to get together in a team format. Um, They end up building relationships that last a long time, and it's a great activity and it's a great sport for them to get involved in. Just to see the kids enjoy themselves, learn how to play tennis, and the 
team competition. And there was no shortage of excitement off the courts. Each team entered into a banner competition, which was judged at the player party on Saturday night. The New York Junior Tennis League and Maywood, New Jersey teams showed their impressive artistic abilities and won the banner contest. <laughs> As for the tournament, four champions in the 14s and 18s divisions, intermediate and advanced, all earned the right to buy for a national title in Arizona. The Addins and the New York Junior Tennis League won the 14s intermediate and advanced groups respectively, and the JAMF Drop Shots and Miller Tennis Center took the 18s intermediate and advanced trophies. Also Maywood won the 12s championship. It feels great, uh, you know, this is something that we've been focusing on at the beginning of the season, uh, and it's a goal that the, that the kids had, and so it's, it's fantastic. A lot of practice, a lot of working hard during practice, and a lot of hustle and everything. And a key part of junior team tennis is excellent sportsmanship. Congratulations to five very worthy players who took home the sectional championship sportsmanship awards. It feels great. Thank you to all the coaches who nominated me, and for great way to end my junior team tennis career. So it was truly another junior team tennis event to remember. I thought it was an awesome event. We had great weather. The kids did a great job and I think they had a lot of fun and that's what it's all about. in Albany the kids all smiles with a chance to go play in Arizona and I've never seen so many happy people fulfilling their dreams winning junior team tennis going on to the nationals once again eastern.usca.com is a good way to get involved but Katrina you've played at every level you played in college you played the juniors also professionally junior team tennis wasn't around I believe when you were around I mean God knows if it was could have helped even more well you know what it wasn't around but I was fortunate enough that we had inner club competition so we kind of played as a club against other clubs but if we had the junior team tennis concept back then <laughs> we would have been dynamite because we were so competitive it was all about playing for pride and now with the opportunity to play for to go to sections and then to nationals whoa what if we had that so many years ago that would have been exciting. Well, it is a lot of fun, and it has the world team tennis scoring format. We know the eastern section helps make the uh, New York sport time team happen in New York, and world team tennis is a lot of fun because you have, like I said, co-ed, and you're never out of it, so that's definitely a good thing for junior team tennis. Well, also, it allows them, when they go and watch world team tennis, that they can see themselves out on the court. They can see how competitive it is. They can see how intense it can become, um, but for these kids 10 and under, 12 and under, it's really all the way up to 18 and under. For these kids to go out collectively and play with each other is exciting. Well, it really was a great time there in Albany. Junior team tennis on the rise. For more information, go to eastern.usca.com, and we'll be right back after these brief messages. This is where friendships lead to championships. This is where, win or lose, we play as one. This is my team. This is my team. This is USDA Junior Team Tennis, where great competition, having fun, and meeting new friends is what our game is all about. Find your team. game of tennis just became kid friendly. Now it's easy for kids to learn the game with smaller courts and equipment sized just for them. So they'll develop faster and have fun along the way. Find out more at tenandundertennis.com. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Courtside with USTA Eastern. Harry Chickmo alongside Katrina Adams. We just took a look at junior team tennis, which shows the youth of the Eastern section fulfilling their dreams, going for a spot in the national championships, and just having a lot of fun. 
but the eastern section does not leave out the adults. You have adult leagues where they almost look like kids out there having such a good time. I was in Syracuse watching them go for a chance at nationals as well. And, man, Katrina, adult leagues are really a hot topic here in the eastern section. Oh, they're popping. They're so competitive. It's a way for these adults to get out and, first of all, get some exercise. Second of all, relieve some of their stress from the day. Uh, but they're so competitive. They want to win. It's like their U.S. Open. It's like their Grand Slam competition. So I've got some friends that are playing in the 4 League, and you would think that they were getting ready for Wimbledon, the way that they train, the way they compete. But to be able to compete within the section, they have a chance to go to nationals. And if they can get to nationals and win that championship, whoa, you would think that they just won the U.S. Open. Well, what's so great about it, too, is you have so many different divisions. No one's left out. You have the two fives, you know, the three oh, three fives, four fives. I mean, it really goes up there in so many different levels, which really makes people feel like they're not, you know, being left out, and it gives them a chance to improve. Well, it's so important that there are so many different levels and they can play within their own level to be competitive where they're not just getting blown off the court so that they get discouraged from competing. We want to really embrace all levels of competition within the adult leagues and make it as competitive as possible for them so that they can have fun and enjoy the sport. Well, as I mentioned, we're up at Syracuse uh, checking out the sectional championships for the adult leagues, the champions going to the nationals in Arizona and California. Let's see how it went up in Syracuse. The USTA Adult Leagues are the most successful adult recreation programs in the country, providing fun and exciting competition for over 700,000 participants each year. Camaraderie, meet a lot of nice people, and your opponents, everybody wants to win, but everybody understands we're all in the same boat. So most of the time you give the guy or you know, a hug afterwards or the girl, and it's, it's a good thing. I love the game, and uh, I love people, so, you know, it's fun, and we win, we win, but... Or we lose. I'm still happy because I'm happy to be here. It's competition. Haven't had this since I was a kid, really, like since high school tennis. Uh, you know, it's a lot of camaraderie. We went out to Dinosaur Barbecue last night, had a good time with the boys. Now we're playing tennis in the morning. It's great. Well, yeah, it brings out a lot of team spirit and um, helps us get in shape and uh, have a great time. Did you ever think your mom would be uh, in a tournament and you'd be the one watching after all those Eastern tournaments you played as a junior? Oh, um, actually, I get more nervous watching than I do playing. So, yeah, it's, it's fun, and it's great to see her out here and, yeah, enjoy it. And it's a lot of fun. You play with a lot of good people. Um, it's competitive because everyone's playing at about the same level. Um, and, and everyone plays uh, with good sportsmanship. It's a, it's a great event. I enjoy it. I've played before, and I enjoy it a lot. It's just exciting to be around all the players. Um, they're all playing with a lot of energy, having and just fun, just fun to be around. The sectional championships at Syracuse proved to be action-packed with heavily contested matchups as well as bonding experiences for the teams. The men's and women's divisions range from 2.5 to 5.0 with all winning teams advancing to the USDA Nationals in Arizona and California. Well, I think it's, a, first of all, to get here is a great accomplishment. In our section alone, there are 25,000 unique tennis players. This weekend, there's only 350. So to actually make it here is a huge accomplishment. So really have to congratulate all those that are here this weekend. What's really, really nice about this atmosphere as well, the people are so happy to be here, and the teams are so, so supportive of each other. Unlike a tournament where you're kind of, the kids are sitting there by themselves with their parents here. They're all around cheering each other on, spending time together, being social and having a great time. Because it's the best event. It's, it's our premier flagship. It's, uh, it's such a great event. You feel like a player. You feel like a professional. You come up here and um, it's just as exciting as can be. The relationships and memories were also strengthened off the courts as all the teams took part in the annual dinner party, giving them a chance to mingle with teammates and competitors. It's all about being with your friends and bonding and having a lot of fun on the court and doing the best you can and seeing people from all over the section and the eastern section and having a great time. We love it here. We've been here almost every year for the past 20 years. We've done a pretty good job, and we hope to do well for the rest of the tournament. My first time at sectionals. It's exciting to be around so many tennis players. I had two tough matches today, won one, lost one, but it's nice to be out having fun. 
Congratulations to all the teams participating and to the winners on an amazing Eastern Section Adult League Sectional Championships. We were just really grateful that we did so well initially and at the local level and to be here and do so well. We didn't know how we were going to do here. You know, it's, This is a whole new experience for our team and we're just so excited for Nationals. It was definitely something we were hopeful for, but we had no expectation of it at all. My partner set up that winning shot, so I am not taking all the credit for that. But she put she it away. Put, I put it away. She pulled me through a match with a broken arm, and <laughs> it was just a great win. Great win for the team, ladies. Yeah, it was a team, team effort member. all weekend up here. Beautiful job. That was a very big relief. That, that I just tried to keep the ball on the court at the last point, to let her do her job, put the ball away. That's what we've been doing all year. And uh, it feels great. Great! Yeah! <laughs> Thank yeah. you. <laughs> everybody, everybody did their job. Truly an amazing time. It was awesome to be there and see everyone giving it their all. I mean, if you win, you go to nationals. If you lose, you still have a great time. No one was talking about work there. They were talking about tennis, talking about their games, and just really a really special experience. Well, it's an experience for these players who really get together and talk about other things than work, talk about their family, talk about their kids that are perhaps getting into the sport, hopefully using 10 and under tennis. But for the adult leagues, I mean, these, these players, these adults are out there, and they really mean business. And to get involved, of course, eastern.usca.com. And I think one of the cool stories of uh, that Syracuse event, I met a young uh, girl who was driving her mother to an event. And this girl played for Washington and Lee University, and her mom used to drive her to Eastern Junior Tournaments. And now the tables have turned where she's driving her mom to the adult league. So once again, it's a chance for adults to really better their games. It really becomes full circle of how uh, the sport has grown from the adults to the kids and then the kids taking care of the adults. Well, much more coming up here. We'll be right back after these brief messages with Courtside with USTA Eastern. The game of tennis just became kid-friendly. Now it's easy for kids to learn the game with smaller courts and equipment sized just for them. So they'll develop faster and have fun along the way. Find out more at tenandundertennis.com. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Courtside with USTA Eastern. Harry Chickma alongside Katrina Adams. And so much excitement with the USTA Eastern section. College Showcase Day, something that's very special to me. I got to play at Rutgers, which is right here in the Eastern section. And really, the mentors who taught me about college tennis are the ones that helped me get to that Division One level. And I know, Katrina, College Showcase Day helps all the young kids around the section fulfill their dreams. Tell me about this great thing we have going on here. Well, it's so important for these kids to know that they have an opportunity to go and compete in college. You've got a lot of college coaches that are around here that are looking for seniors and juniors who are interested in competing in college. And so many players that come from these local programs in the section don't think that they have a chance to go and compete in college, and that's just not true. So it's important for these kids to come out 
interact with the other kids, but also interact with the coaches. They find out so much information as to how they can apply for colleges, how they can seek out college coaches, how to learn about college scholarships and learn about the NCAA clearinghouse process, which is a huge process for these kids to have to be clear before they can even try to get scholarships for these uh, universities. So you went to Rutgers, I went to Northwestern University, so we know how much fun it can be to compete in college tennis. And that will be at the Sawmill Club in Mount Kisco, the 25th anniversary of College Showcase Day. You can also register on eastern.usta.com. Let's now go to a great feature story about this amazing event. I'm Julie Bliss. I am the Director of Competition and Player Development for the USTA Eastern Section. And we are at the 24th Annual Eastern College Showcase Day today. An interview process for college coaches to see some upcoming high school players and a recruiting process for high school players to see what college programs are out there. My goal would be for all of them to meet their ideal college here and go on and play for one of the schools that are here today. We're looking at Division Two and Three for tennis, so we get a lot of um, colleges that we could send, you know, videos to and, and get in touch with the coaches. So it's a great, you know, way to find out who to send the resumes to. Right. Well, what I like about the showcase, it's a, I think it's a, it's a win-win for everybody. First, the young players that are just getting started want to come in and one play on these courts and, and two show off. We get a flavor list of all the players. Two, we get a glimpse of them and some ideas and try to get a gauge of who's in our zone for the caliber of our team that we can use to enhance and improve the team on a continuing basis. There were a lot of colleges I really wanted to go see and go play for their tennis team, so I decided it's a good idea. What's your name? Lauren Bell. Lauren, nice to meet you. I was watching you play earlier. This is a great thing that you're here to help educate yourselves and help you, help you and your family make the right decision for your child. If you are competitive and you're looking for solutions and you have some athleticism and you have drive and determination, I promise you the college coaches will find you. I really enjoy um, being able to see both the juniors and the seniors play, um, also being able to interact with student athletes who are interested in, in learning more about the college process and you know come and visit campus is really important being able to meet the team um, doing as much much research as possible um, and exploring a lot of different options college showcase day definitely special for us Katrina you played at Northwestern I played at Rutgers and all the kids in the eastern section it's something really really to dream about to be a division one two or three player and it helps them in so many ways well, this is where the youth really learn about college tennis. A lot of these kids don't think that they can compete in college or at top university levels. And for them to come out and interact with the other players in their section, to be able to meet so many college coaches and find out so much information as to what it takes to compete in college, it's a huge asset for not only the youth but for the parents because they don't have the expertise or the knowledge in knowing how to seek out these college coaches or what the process might be to earning a college scholarship. And it is the 25th anniversary. It's going to be amazing. And you can register on eastern.usta.com. There's much more coming up here on Courtside with USTA Eastern. We'll be right back after these brief messages. of tennis just became kid friendly. Now it's easy for kids to learn the game with smaller courts and equipment sized just for them. So they'll develop faster and have fun along the way. Find out more at tenandundertennis.com.
This is where friendships lead to championships. This is where, win or lose, we play as one. This is my team. This is my team. This is USDA Junior Team Tennis, where great competition, having fun, and meeting new friends is what our game is all about. Find your team. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Courtside with USDA Eastern. Harry Chickma alongside Katrina Adams. We've had so many great topics here in the broadcast, but Katrina, one that really means a lot to us is diversity and helping to give back to the community. That's what Eastern Tennis is all about. Tell me about that. Well, diversity and inclusion is a huge topic for USDA National as well as a section. And one of the ways that they're able to utilize that is working with the NJTLs. We have over a dozen in the metro region alone and almost a hundred in the section and like programs like myself with the Harlem Junior Tennis we really want to provide an opportunity to introduce the sport to kids that wouldn't otherwise know what the sport of tennis is about we put rackets in their hands we help them with their tutoring and mentoring um, to be better people overall to make sure they're great success in the classroom and so the diversity and inclusion initiative is so important not just here in, sec in the eastern section but all over the nation well, it really is all about giving back, and it's the members of the USTA who help make this all possible here. For more information, go to USTA.com, also Eastern.USTA.com. Katrina, this is a great section. It's done so much for us, and thank you for joining us here today. Oh, thank you, Harry. And for the rest of the staff, I'm Harry Chickma. We look forward to seeing you next time to talk about Eastern Tennis. The game of tennis just became kid-friendly. Now it's easy for kids to learn the game with smaller courts and equipment sized just for them. So they'll develop faster and have fun along the way. Find out more at tenandundertennis.com. This is where friendships lead to championships. This is where, win or lose, we play as one. This is my team. This is my team. This is USDA Junior Team Tennis, where great competition, having fun, and meeting new friends is what our game is all about. Find your team.